Tonight, at any rate, we've got to go through some theoretical material, so we're on a head trip. I don't know where the trip will end up. It depends on you. But in order to lay the foundation for this, we've got to examine ideas that are basic to our common sense. Ideas are very powerful. It's not only emotions that are powerful in human life. Psychoanalysis has, of course, examined the emotional bases of human opinions and beliefs. But one should also examine the intellectual bases of psychological principles or theories or therapies because everybody who speaks a language at all has underneath the surface of the language or the figuring that he uses certain basic assumptions which are usually unexamined and these unexamined systems of belief are extremely powerful in their influence over our lives. We'll begin with one very common idea that's built into our common sense, which is that the world, the physical world, consists of two aspects, respectively form and matter. This was foisted on us by Aristotle and also by the Bible because it is said that God created man out of the dust of the earth and as it were made a figurine in his own image. And